This is a video about a comparison of the Pixel 4a and the iPhone SE 2020. Um, first of all, um, we'll start out, I guess, with the, um, the iPhone first. Um, iPhone um, is pretty good at video. It has, um, I think, ISP67 water resistance. Uh, it has a glass back. Uh, it has a better build than the Pixel. Um, and uh, the video quality from the front-facing camera is going to be better than the uh, Pixel. Um, and it's got a faster processor than the Pixel. So those are the main advantages of the um, iPhone SE. And then um, on the Pixel, it has Android on it, and I have Android 10, um, and that's real good. Um, it has a slower processor. It doesn't have the build quality. It has a plastic back. Um, it um, has a better camera, probably, than the, um, than the iPhone does. And um, the uh, front-facing camera is 8 megapixel, whereas the iPhone is 7 megapixel. It, neither one of them on the front-facing camera have 4K. Um, and then um, the um, rear-facing camera will do only um, 30 frames per second at 4K, and I think the iPhone may do 60. Um, and um, you can have uh, wireless charging on the iPhone, and you cannot on the Pixel. Um, and, uh, and also the Pixel is not water resistant at all. So if it gets wet, then it's, it's gone. Also, uh, with Pixel, usually, um, I think on this one, they're updating it for three years, whereas the iPhone, uh, usually the software is good for around five years. And then you also have a stronger processor, too, so that'll help it last longer, too. Um, the battery is probably a little bit larger on the, uh, on the Pixel. Um, as far as the Wi-Fi speeds on both of them, that I'm not real sure of. I know I have an iPhone, and um, I have decent speeds um, uh, on the Wi-Fi uh, upload and download. I, I can get close to 200 both ways um, on the iPhone. Uh, the Pixel, in the past, they've had a bad reputation on that. Um, it has, they, they really have not done real well on the um, on um, some of their Wi-Fi things in the past, and so how good that'll work is is kind of a gamble on that. Um, the uh, Pixel is OLED, whereas the uh, iPhone is LED. Uh, some people can't don't like it, OLED, uh, so it may bother some people, and on those people, they'd be better off with the iPhone. Um, and then also, I think the iPhone will have Apple Pay, and then uh, uh, the Pixel will have Google Pay. Um, Apple Pay is probably a lot bigger than Google Pay, I would assume. Um, and the thing is that I'm not real crazy about either phone. Um, you know, I don't know if the Pixel 5, when it comes out, is going to be any better um, than these or not. Um, this Pixel 4a is still a cheap phone. In the past, the reputation has been so bad that... Um, it would kind of lure me away from, from going that way. Uh, it does have 128 uh, on just the uh, basic model at 350, which is a real good uh, amount of memory to have. Um, the uh, iPhone, you have to pay upgrade of $50 to get um, that, and it would be about 450 for the iPhone. Um, actually, I prefer the iPhone 11 quite a bit better than, uh, or the iPhone 11 Pro, either one of those two, much better than the iPhone SE, um, mainly because also you do get the, the, night, the night mode uh, on the pictures, and also you'll have 4K on, on the front-facing camera, which, which I really need a lot, because I like the front-facing camera a lot. Um, and so that, that's a big plus for me. Uh, the iPhone 12 is coming out, that will have a 40% faster processor, um, than what's out here now. It has 5G on it. 
Uh, I'm not real crazy about 5G. There may be some disadvantages too as far as uh, radiation and some other things. I'm not real sure about. There may be other risks, but um, it, it could have an L LDAR camera on it, which will give some three-dimensional things possibly. Um, and so there are, and also even on the basic uh, iPhone uh, 12, uh, you'll get two cameras. And then on the more pro version, you'll get three cameras. And so um, those are some considerations also for the iPhone 12. Um, so either the iPhone um, 11 or, or 11 Pro or, or, or the 12 uh, seem like a better option to me. Uh, the iPhone SE, the biggest problem I have with it is I don't like the front-facing camera on it. Um, it, it. It doesn't even seem to be as good as the front-facing camera on the Google Pixel. Um, and, um, but the Google Pixel does have an 8 megapixel camera on it and it has a 7 on the, on the um, iPhone. Um, but anyway, that's my main objection to the iPhone. Um, and so um, my real suggestion is to wait until the iPhone 12 comes out and buy the best things available at that time. Um, anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And, and, and thanks a lot.